Wonderful welcome souls and spirits to girls so damn soul here and welcome to another exciting video. Yeah. And welcome to the delivery guy. So yes, I actually have played this map before. Well, technically the first uh one because actually this map also after the first one there was a sequel. So, I am going to replay the first one. I will put the original link of it down in the description below. But also, I'm going to play the sequel of Delivery Guy. So basically, you just deliver packages to the neighborhood and all that stuff. So, and also, I play as a villager named Fred. So, I guess without further ado, let's just jump straight on into the map, shall we? Delivery Guy, a map by Creeper Lad MC. That's the creator. Um. Okay, so apparently that was my alarm clock. Thank you, alarm clock. Oh, another morning of unemployment. I can't even afford my own apartment. Instead, I have to share an apartment with Frank. Don't get me wrong, Frank is a great guy, but it would be nice to have some privacy. It's been months since we graduated, but the fact that we both don't have jobs, plus our student loans, means we're going to be stuck together in the same apartment and sharing everything. If only I could get a job, then I can move out. Now for my morning shower. Wow, I have a lot to say, because I, I honestly could not keep up. Okay... Anyways, look at my fancy ass laptop. I'm gonna go and shower. Hello? I can still walk around my bedroom while the sound effects are going on. Oh, I'm finally in the bathroom. Ah, the shower. Time for me to hop in. Uh, before I do that, can I just take a look-see in this bathroom? I mean, look at the details of the toilet paper. Even the toilet! It's like the diamond block is like the toilet water. That is so cool. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, nice flushing button and a lid. Well, okay, I guess I can go shower now. Ah, this steam is sure is nice. In the meantime, though... Uh, what's happening? Oh, it's Frank! Ah, time for my shower. Oh no! I'm in the shower! Oh no, this is gonna be bad. This is bad. No! Oh my goodness. What the? Urk! My eyes! Technical difficulties, please stand by. It's like a TV show or something like that. Remember what I said earlier about having to move out? I mean it. I need a job so bad. Oh my goodness. Hey, Frank. Oh my goodness. Hello. <sighs> you know, the next time you use the shower, you should try locking the door. The door doesn't have a lock! Oh. Awkward. Maybe you should try knocking next time. I would, but I don't have hands. You can't do a lot of stuff if you don't have hands. I really need some privacy. At least I can read the paper in peace. Now let's see here. Mayor opens near park, decent weather for upcoming week, blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Wait a minute. Hiring? Delivery person for local restaurant? Salary of 10000 per month? Holy moly, then was probably a reason why the last guy quit. Bah, cause he was crazy, that's why. I am so applying. Good luck. It's probably a really tough job. You're just being paranoid. And you know what? With this job... I can move out! New job, here I come! All I have to do is just walk out that dark oak door. Okay, now Frank, my, my pal, or my roomie, we must never speak of the shower incident ever again. Capiche? You hear me? That can never be undone. What the things you see. This must be the place. Hello there. Hi, Tony. Welcome to Tony's Takeout. How may I help you? I'm here to apply for the vacancy. You mean the delivery guy? Yeah, that. Finally. I've had to deliver everything myself since the last guy left. What, nobody wanted the job? Why? It pays so well. Well, the thing is... The neighborhood is a little bit weird, so being the delivery guy means a lot of contact with the folks around here. And, wait, are the people around here really that bad? Well, I didn't mean it that way. It's just that things may get pretty awkward. 
Well, for 120000 a year, a bit of awkwardness isn't going to stop me. Well, I'm glad you think so. Sign on this contract here. Okay. I will. Okay. All I have to do is just do my initials. And while I do the initials, I'm going to do a little side dance. Side dance. Little side dance. Dun -dun -dun. Here you go. Here's my contract. Great. You ready for your first day on the job? Why, yes, sir. Alrighty then, you begin now. Wow. Oliver <laughs> just got the job on the spot. That's impressive. Here you go. To be delivered to 105 Kennedy Street. Uh, what's in it? Uh, you don't need to know. Um, okay. Come back when you're done. Okay, sure thing. Let's get this delivery thing started. Oh my goodness, the walking sound effects. 105 Kennedy Street, right? Yep, and it just happens to be the first do house on the right. Why did I almost say door? Okay, well, ding dong! Hello? Delivery? Please come in, you say? Okay, then. Let's go into the house. What the? Oh, it's a cow! Moo, are you okay? I just fainted. Well, I'm sorry, I was a bit surprised. At what? Well, you being a cow and all, how dare ye? What have you, what do you have against cows? That's blatant indiscrimination. Uh, no, 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 I didn't mean that. <laughs> you know what, just give me my lunch. Sure, no problem. Here you go. Finally, I'm starving. Oh my goodness, that's cute, the box on the plate. But gee, I wonder what he's having for lunch. It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Time for lunch. Uh, delicious steak. Um, do you mind? I'm trying to have my lunch. Oh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, go and enjoy your lunch. I'm just gonna go. What the heck was that? Oh my goodness. Well, we have to call the cops. Relax. Mr. Moo is a loyal customer. He's a flipping cannibal! Well, there's no law against eating beef. Here, you have another package. Come back when you're done. Okay. Hopefully the next people I deliver to isn't too weird. Like, oh my goodness. I've already delivered, like, steak to a cow. What's next? A pig? Or like a sheep? But residence 121, this says. Okay, so I believe it is the third house on the left. And the best part is to know where the houses are because of the mailboxes. But interesting house. I'll go ring the doorbell now. Ding dong! Ding dong! Hello? Huh, no answer. I'll just go in anyway because that's just apparently what I do nowadays. I'm just going to bust into everyone's homes. Okay. Oh, loud TV noises. Maybe the... So delivery! So someone is the home, but they have it... Oh my gosh, what the heck? Irma, someone's at the door! We'll go see who, who it is, Hank, but the zombies are coming. I'm busy, Hank. Darn it! Oh my gosh. You have a burger on your head, or you're, you're a burger head. Well, I believe you've ordered some food. Food? No, I have not. Oh, I get it. Irma, it's here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness indeed. You both have burger heads. Come on, show us quick. Our baby has finally arrived. What? <laughs> Wait, your baby? Go get the camera, Hank. On my way, honey. Okay, I'm, I'm lost. I'm so confused. My poor baby wrapped in paper. Let mommy help you, sweetie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my beautiful little angel, I have no words. May I ask you a favor? Sure, I guess. Hold my baby for me while I check on Hank. Oh my gosh, so this is how burger babies are made. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> these people are I crazy, more like insane. They think this burger is their child. They actually think an unliving object is a baby? Well, absolutely not. Yeah! Uh-oh. Oh dear. Oh no. 
I found the camera. Let's go check on our baby Hank. I dropped the baby. Breaking news. An evil man has killed a baby. He was arrested earlier today by the police. We have interviewed the man's lawyer. The defendant will not plead guilty, he said. Burger babies don't count, he said. Well, I think he's guilty. I think he should be thrown in jail. And what's that? Well, apparently I'm not supposed to say that on the TV. And apparently villager number 26 is the news anchor. <sighs> I guess this is why this job pays so well. Well, at least I still have my paycheck. Hello, Tony. Have you come to bust me out or something? I told you. These people are weird. Very weird. Heck, even the laws are weird here. Why else would I be here? I demand my paycheck and compensation for all of this. Well, firstly about the paycheck. The contract decrees that you will be paid after you finish the entire term. In other words, a year of work. Also, there will be no compensation. I'm just screaming. I'm dying inside. The local law decrees that employees don't have the compensate for jail time. It's like these law settlers are psychic. But anyway, see you in like 20 years. What? 20 years? What? Okay, that is really weird. The law. Well, at least I won't have to live with Frank anymore. Oh, I spoke too soon. Apparently you can get jail for jaywalking. Well, guess what, friend my pal? It's as if we're inseparable. With good company, time will fly. Am I right, pal? Are you okay, Fred? We just both died. Delivery Guide 2. The sequel. So remember where we left off last time? I do remember. Well, friend, my pal. We're ha such having a great time in here together. Kill me, please. Oh my gosh. Kill me, please. And the best part is we have 90 more years to spend together. Where's the falling piano when you need one? Oh my god. We've been together for a year. But wait, weren't we in separate cells? Oh my goodness, an actual police officer. Nice. Inmate 2756, your conduct has been terrible in the past months. Well, what are you gonna do? It makes me... Huh? <laughs> Apparently, yes! How is that possible? But, well, the upside and downside to this... The upside is I'm out of jail. The downside is we don't get to hang out now. That's another upside. What? Nothing. The downside is now I have nowhere to live. Hey, there's something in my pocket. Hiring salary of... 350,000 yearly with luxurious room and board provided? My dream job! Oh, crud. What? Oh, it's him! Gee, has it been 20 years already? No, it's been a year, actually. Tony, here for the job, I presume? No, I'm leaving. Oh my goodness, look at the move animation. That is so cool. Wait! I know you don't have very good memories of this job, so you'll try to make the job less disturbing? No, you need the money, remember? Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just... All that anger bottled up. You've been hired! Congrats! Wow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I forgot I signed a contract, but I'm out of jail, so how... I kind of got the job anyways. Here you go! Oh, here we go again. Through the door, gotta deliver it to whoever. I mean, last time we delivered to a cow and a burger family. Well, yeah, a burger couple and I killed their baby. But, Resident 362, eh? Oh my goodness, I almost sound like Canadian when I said, eh? <laughs> I am, if you are Canadian, I am so sorry. Okay, anyways, let's just try and find a number, which happens to be the second door to the right. Let's go in. Ding dong! And this time they actually have doors. That's actually a big improvement. I guess I have no other choice but to just barge into the place. I guess that's my specialty. I just barge into random people's homes. I don't wait for them to come to the door. What the? Oh. Hello, Squidward. What's your problem? Never seen a robot before? Oh, you're a robot? Humans are so insensitive sometimes. Is it because I'm a robot I can't enjoy food? Actually, well, you're wrong. We have rights, too. I'll take that. Thank you. Okay, Squidward bot. Oh my goodness, is that the burger baby? You just ate a human baby! Oh, nuts. Um, you don't look so well. Error. He just exploded in my face. One hospital, stay later. Ah, I see you're back. Well, thanks for your concern. I also realize there's so much improvement because they're doing the head bobbing. 
by the way, I didn't know robots could own property. Well, you didn't know burgers counted as people either. But anyways. Okay. Here we go. Delivery number two. You might also want to put this on. A, a mask? Wait. I'm curious to what this looks like. Spider mask. Don't let them know that you're human. Um, what? Okay, I'll just put it on. See what I look like with it. Oh my gosh, look at me. Oh my gosh! The, uh, the spider eyes actually blend in with my actual eyes. That is so cool. I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of dig the mask. Residence, 122 this time. Huh. And it's the second door to the left. So, I'm glad the numbers on the mailbox are letting me know. But ding dong! Ding dong! I better put this on. Here it goes. Nothing. Or here it goes. Well, to be honest, I already put the mask on, so that's okay. I mean, I already put it on because I wanted to test it out. I guess I might have skipped a little bit of the story dialogue, but whatever. Oh my gosh, he's actually has the spider mask on his head. Uh, Mrs. Webb. Oh, Charlotte Webb. Why, hello there, young man. I take it you're the exterminator. Exterminator? I'm just the delivery guy. Oh, yes, silly me. I do hope you were the exterminator, though. You see, we have the most annoying pest issues. What pest issues? Oh my gosh! Eek! It's it again! Or it's here again! Our house is invested with those nasty humans! I am most terrified of these pests. Do me a favor, get rid of that pest. Human spray? Oh my gosh, am I really going to kill my own kind? Well, I mean, I have to. Otherwise, it will be suspicious to the spider lady. Here goes nothing. Uh, it didn't do anything. I can't get the bottle back. What am I supposed to do? Oh, wait, whoops. <laughs> Click here to use the pesticide. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, but I feel bad, though. And now you just see the bottle floating there in the background. Thanks so much, Mr. Delivery Guy. I'll take this. Thanks again. Uh-oh. Oh crud, my mask fell off. Oh no. Angry hisses, spraying noises, suffocating noises. Supertox pesticide available at what? Another hospital stay later. Oh my gosh. I'm back. Why are you always so late? You've been gone for a week. I nearly died on this job. Well, ah, whatever. This is coming out of your vacation time. What, vacation time? Oh yeah, you don't have a vacation time. LOL. Anyways. Your third delivery. Deliver this to residence 121 and get your month's salary. Wait, that's it? Yep, now go do your job. Oh, thank goodness. Only just one more delivery left to do. At least... I mean, last time... I ended up in jail. I wonder what's going to happen this time around. I mean, I hope I get my month's salary. And I hope I don't get thrown in prison again. Residence one-to-one -one this time. And it's the last door on the... I mean, last house on the left side of the street. Also, there's a sign here that says not a portal. It, it's definitely a portal. But ding-dong! Well, this is a weird house. This reminds me of a portal for some reason. Uh, because it is. Why is there lightning? What's with the sound? Ooh! Oh, that looks so pretty cool! Nah, it can't be a portal. And he just walks through it. Oh my goodness. Not a portal. Not a portal. Oh my goodness, is that Dr. Traoris? Am I in Dan TDM's lab? Oh, it's just a researcher. Boo! My friend, thank you so much. Wow, you must really like your lunch. If, <laughs> if you've ordered so much. Oh, silly me. I haven't told you. Our lab specializes in developing particle transmission technology. Or in simpler words, we make portals. You happen to be our 100th voluntary test subject. 
Voluntary? I haven't volunteered for anything. Sure, you're a volunteer. You're an involuntary volunteer. Oh my goodness, tongue twister. Thanks to your help, our portal is now almost ready for a public use. Wait, almost? Yeah, it still corrupts the DNA of whoever uses... Oh my gosh, I'm a burger person! Yeah, I guess I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> Please don't sue me. I'm a freaking burger person! One surgery later. What the? Where am I? Oh, I'm in his lab. Um, why am I just a head in a blanket? How do you feel, Fred? What happened? Your entire body's genetic information was destroyed. In other words, your entire body went haywire. Thanks to modern medicine, we can fix the rest of your body, which will be ready in about two weeks. At least I got my month's salary of $30,000. By the way, here's the medical bill. Ah! Oh my goodness, was the bill the much, how much I earned? Well, at least I won't have to deal with Frank anymore. Um, yeah, about that. We had to find a body for you while yours was being fixed up. Wait, what do you mean? Uh -huh. Well, we had to implant your head somewhere and... What's this lump beside me? It's only a temporary arrangement, sir. Fred? What the? Now we can hang out 24-7 for the next two weeks. Sir, please stay calm, please. I just... I'm just losing my marbles. <laughs> oh, that's it? Oh, I want more! I want more! And don't deliver food. That's the moral of the story. Oh my gosh. But anyway, spirituals, that concludes today's video. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Give you love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if you spirituals have other videos you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below because that would be highly appreciated. And... Oh my gosh, I loved it so much! Okay, I feel like this might be my new favorite Minecraft series. This, it's the best, it's so weird, it's so random, but I love it so much! And I feel like the sequel had so much updates compared to the first one. And also, um, if you want to see the original playthrough of the first one, uh, I will leave it down in the description below so you can check out the original. But just to be clear, the sequel isn't doesn't have the original link because this is the first time I have played the sequel. Along with replaying the first one and all that. Yeah, I know, it sounds confusing. But yeah, I love the particles and everything. Um, I actually can't wait to see if there's going to be a, no like a number three of Delivery Guy. But um, yeah, it's so cool. I love it so much. And I can't wait to see more maps like this. So anyway, spirituals, goodbye and have a spiritual day.